Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll be looking how to calculate lens distortion in Nuke. So let's get started. So I have this uh, standard 1080p sequence. As you can see that there is a distortion in this footage. So let's calculate by adding lens distortion node. So this is the new version of this lens distortion. So which uses a GPU if that is available. If you still want to use the old distortion method. So hit X and type lens distortion. Remember the L and D should be in caps. And if you click OK, you will be getting this old lens distortion method. So I'll be using this newer lens distortion node. So the best way to calculate lens distortion is by using the grid method. So in case if you have a checkerboard so which is captured by your camera lens it will be very easy to calculate lens distortion in case if you have one so add a lens distortion node and uh, select these two grids if you click detect it will create points in here so after that if you hit the button solve so you can see that so every single line is showing as green so the distortion has been calculated now you can see that the mode is in ST map. If you change from ST map to undistort, you can see that the checkerboard has clean squares, which means the distortion is calculated. So if you have a checkerboard, it will be easy for us to calculate a distortion. So in case if you don't have the checkerboard, the second best way to calculate the lens distortion is by using the line analysis. So which is what we'll be looking right now. So what we'll be doing is we'll be looking for either horizontal or vertical lines. So as we can see that, so the building here is looking good, but in real life, the building will be in straight. So and also this pipe and the other objects we can see here. So what we have to do is we have to uh, create a line and uh, tell to Nuke that these are the lines which should be in straight and uh, that will help us to calculate distortion. So in order to do that, I will uh, select this tool and what I will do is I will start creating points in here. So for example, I will click a point in here. So and in here and in here just yes, uh, because I could not uh, find the data here I'm selecting a point here and in here and here so after you have completed creating points you have to click enter and you can create other sets of points in here so I will also create points in here something like this you should have a minimum of three lines in order to solve this distortion so I will also use right side so it can be either vertical or horizontal so I will also create horizontal points here and I will press enter and uh, let me also create something for this pipe now we have like four lines which we have created and uh, you can see that there is a solve button here if you press this you can see that the green areas are which which has been solved so we can see that all the four lines has been solved in here and uh, now the mode is on st map if we change from st map to understore you can see that the lines are now in straight and uh, also you can see that so we have undistorted this plate and uh, this plate as of now does not have any distortion so this is how you calculate a distortion in Nuke by using line analysis. There is also an, another method where you can calculate distortion by features. But uh, that method is not uh, that much uh, recommended because uh, so a footage or a sequence may contain an independent motion. So something like this where you can see that the clothes are moving. So you have to mask it out and uh, remove those independent motions and uh, then you have to calculate distortion so it is always better to go for line analysis but there might be situations where you don't have you know horizontal and vertical lines uh, to draw uh, like uh, buildings or anything so in that cases you can use features but the best option if you don't have a checkerboard is to go for the line analysis so this is how you calculate lens distortion in new the main reason why lens distortion is used in VFX is because let's say that you have to uh, paint something out or if you want to add a CG or something. So the distortion what you see here 
should match with the object so that is the reason we are calculating a uh, distortion let me just demonstrate with a small example so what i will do is i will add a checkerboard and uh, i will reformat it to 1080 so that the checkerboard and the footage has the same resolution and uh, what i will do is i will add a corner pin node I will merge it so I want this to be in background and uh, this in foreground so I will add a multiply node so that I can see through I'll give a value of 0.5 I will select this corner pin and I will start moving this so what I'm trying to do is I'm just uh, trying to add the checkerboard on this wall So let me just move those points here As the wall is distorted here, it will not be easy for me to add the checkerboard here So what I will do is I will enable this undistort so that now you can see that So the wall is perfect what I will try to do is now I will try to match this checkerboard to this board. So now you can see that with the help of undistort, it is easier for me to add this checkerboard than with the distorted sequence. So I will copy this lens distortion node and I will place here. I will disable this undistort. So now we can see the lines here, which is due to the bounding box issue. As you can see, the bounding box is limited to this checkerboard. In order to solve this issue, we have to add a crop node. If I change this uh, lens distortion, instead of undistort to redistort, you can see that. So this distortion is happening to this checkerboard also. So with this lens distortion values, we'll, it will be easy for us to distort the paint and CG objects. So that's all for this video. If you like my videos, please do consider subscribing to my channel. Peace.